My legs feel surprisingly good for climbing 5,000 feet yesterday. Nice. I love the mountains. I just, maybe I just suck at being a cold weather person. Like when I camped in the snow, I got freaking snowed in and got frostbite. When I went on this trip, I left too late and got caught in the snow. I am meant to be in the tropics. But I love, like, pine trees and mountains. I just, I guess I just suck at it. Maybe I don't suck at it. <sighs> Maybe I should just stop thinking. Thank you, Pam, for the blueberry oatmeal. Looks great. So I'm waiting around today because I have to go to the bike shop this morning because my bike's kind of broken. My chain is broken and my shifting cable is starting to fray. So Pam is gonna take me on a tour of the farm. They live on a farm and own this property, but like there's other farm workers that like run the farm. They just kind of live on the property and lease the farm out to people. So they get unlimited veggies and fruits, but they don't really have to do anything farm wise. Pretty sweet deal. And she's gonna take me on a tour because the bike shop doesn't open for a couple hours. Picking a few pears. What the kind last. Of pears are these? Well, they're the late fall ones. These are the last of them. Yeah, they're a bit hard. They'll ripen up in the house. Yep. Making a few pies today with those pears. Oh, maybe I should stick around <laughs> so I can eat those pies. Are you gonna make any vegan pear pies? Of course. Nice. Thank you. You're an excellent filmmaker. So here's one of the ripe pears that was picked a little while ago. You gotta peel it because the skin is so thick, but I think this is the best pear I've ever had. It's so juicy and sweet. So there's something to this local organic food thing, huh? Local food really does taste better than imported food? Yeah. So freaking rad. Check out this bike shop, it's too good. Thank you for saving my life today. Much appreciated. Tool measures the wear on the chain. Yeah. Yours is like just to the red. So okay. I got a little more life like forward. Yeah, but like. <laughs> and they got to their house and they all got the flu. And they were all like throwing up and like what the fuck? And we ended up staying there for like a week. Like, yeah, can we stay here? We're all messed up. Yeah. Time to go. Thank you, Bike Co. You're the best. Only cost me 38 bucks and I got a tool so that I can fix my chain if it breaks in the future, a chain breaker and a master link. So if this ever happens again, I can fix it on my own. And the dude taught me from Scotland, the bike mechanic. And that's that's a part of bike touring. You, you learn as you go. Shit happens and then you fix it and you learn from it. So I am heading out today. It is cold. It is soaking wet raining. I've got all uphill, which is a good thing because downhill is scary right now in my life because I get freezing cold. So I've got uphill all the way to Whistler, which is like a huge skiing town. Um, and I've got a warm showers host there. So I hope today will be good as long as I say stay safe and do not get blown off the road by trucks and rain.
Ooh, made it to the visitor center. I got bit by some insect or something right there, and it's itching me. I made it to the visitor center though, it's good. And my host, I have a warm showers host tonight. They live, I think, about 10, 15, 10, seven miles out of town. So I have to go back out there. I don't know if I'm looking forward to that. I'm soaking wet, everything is wet. I'm trying to dry stuff, it's still raining and it's cold, but I'm gonna eat some oatmeal and get to hang out here. It was a great climb. It was not bad at all. There's snow everywhere, but not on the road. It was just raining, it's all good. Okay, I think it's time to go battle the freezing cold. Cam gave me these hemp seeds with like kelp and Himalayan sea salt. They're, they're toasted, unhold hemp seeds. You know like most hemp seeds are just the, the seed inside. These have like the shell and they're really good. It's one of those vegan foods that I'm very surprised I've never tried before. Here's what they look like. They're really good. Okay, time to get back into the cold and I'm still pretty wet, but we got five more miles to make it to Pascal's house. He's kind of a professional couch surfer. So within the couch surfing community, what kind of makes you cool and more interesting and also more likely to get uh, uh, hosts if you're out couch surfing places um, is your references because when you stay with someone they'll leave you a reference and say hey this guy was cool he gave me food we had fun or a bad review if you're a weirdo um, and the person didn't like you for some reason or you did anything sketchy so if you have like 20 references you have a pretty and they're positive you have a pretty good idea if someone asks to stay with you that they're going to be a nice solid person because a lot of other people vouch for them. Um, I would say most people have between like zero and five references who are registered on Couchsurfing. I have 25, which is pretty good. But Pascal, he has stayed with 150 people and he's hosted 15. So he's done a lot of surfing and probably got into hosting within the last year. Can't wait to meet him. He's probably been so many places. intense winter gear for the next couple days. I think this this couch of a jacket would be a really nice addition. This is insane. Late night editing and talking to Pascal. He's been to so many places just as I expected. It's so epic. He's done bike tours as well. And right now, I am finally gonna do something that I've been excited to do pretty much since the first day of the trip, because this thing is very annoying to carry. But it was necessary when I was sleeping in the woods. I'm not sleeping in the woods anymore. The bear canister is staying here. Goodbye. Thank you for protecting me from all the bear attacks. I mean, protecting my food from all the bear attacks. Were there any bear attacks? Probably not. This is craft jam, probably from like freaking Yukon. I'm saving this. 
Ketchup, pumpkin seeds, and sugar packets. Yeah, that makes sense. This is my bear canister. All right, I'll clean it out, but this is all yours. Oh yeah. Eh? And you can have it or give it to a traveler in the future. Wow. Have you ever used one? No. Camping? No? Oh no, it got so late. I'm editing so many things and rearranging stuff. I got rid of my bear canister. Yeah. She's what else I can get rid of. But I'm very tired. And I thought I had like two options of places to stay lot tomorrow for tomorrow in Squamish and they both kind of fell through. So I don't know what I'm gonna do because I've crossed into civilization deep enough where you're knocking on doors while I'll still do it, I'm not afraid, it's just much less likely to work. But I will do my best. Much love, Dream Extreme.